Our UN government and its people have been advised to make the development of indigenous craft and trade a priority in the quest to diversify the nation's economy. This charge was made in Oshobo at the 2018 annual lecture of the Nigerian Academy of Letters. Rafiu Amid has more. Gathered here are members of the Nigerian Academy of Letters, leaders of thought, scholars and students for the Academy's annual lecture. Lecture with the theme, Cultural Industry and the Contributions of Humanities to National Development. A case study of Doba was organized so that people can see the cultural industry as a source of economic diversification. As long as we pursue a monocultural economy based on oil and gas, whose fortunes are inconstant and subject to vagaries of international trends and doomed to eventual extinction, we cannot dream of a sustained economy. The guest speaker, Professor Muhammad Umar Buratai of Ahmadubelo University, Zaria, outlined the economic benefits of promoting cultures like the Doba. Other speakers canvassed for real-time organization of cultural crafts and trade in contributing to the national economy. Our culture is very rich. We can make money even from Nollywood, and we know we are making from Nollywood. The important thing is for us to be able to organize these things in a way that we can properly account for them in our economy. There is hunger and famine in the land today, and we want to ensure that everybody can be able to afford three square meals. Nigerians are not asking for uh, too much. They are only asking for decent living, good education, good road. The lecture, which focused on turning the local cultural industry to a money spinner, is expected to act as an eye-opener for unemployed Nigerians, especially the teaming youths. Rafiu Hamid, TVC News, Oshobo, Ocean State.